by the wonderful, dynamic Dr. Sandra A. Smith Sr. and his beautiful and lovely first and his lovely wife, First Lady Silver Smith, where they have been leading, leading us over 58 years here at the Marlboro Church. Our church motto is this is church where you are not as a stranger but as a guest of God. You are welcome, welcome, welcome.
God be the glory for all the marvelous things he has done and is doing and will do in our lives. Amen. God is good. And all the time. Amen. Amen. If you have your Bible and you want to follow along with the reading, I'm going to read from John 20. John 20. And I'm going to start at verse 19. Verse 19. If you have it, please say amen. If you don't, I'll wait. Then the same day at evening, being the first day of the week, when the doors were shut, where disciples were assembled for fear of the Jews, came Jesus and stood in the midst and said unto them, Peace be unto you. And when he had said so, he showed unto them his hands and his side. Then were the disciples glad when they saw the Lord. Then said Jesus to them again, Peace be unto you. As my Father had sent me, even so send I you. And when he had said this, he breathed on them and said unto them, Receive ye the Holy Ghost. Whosoever sins ye remit, they are remitted unto them. And whosoever sins ye retain, they are retained. Amen. scripture that says if God be for you who can be against you because he takes pleasure when you do good let's pray Father God we thank you for your goodness your kindness your love and your mercy you're the God of my life you are the captain of my soul. We thank you for divine protection as we slept last night. We thank you for allowing us to be in the house of the Lord one more time. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. We thank you, Heavenly Father, for the, the power of the cross. We thank you for your precious blood. We thank you, Heavenly Father, because we know we are more than conquerors through Christ Jesus our Lord. We are the victors this morning, and we are not the victim. We thank you for the blood of Jesus. We ask you this morning, Heavenly Father, to come in our service. Move, heal, deliver, and set free. Somebody need a word this morning. Somebody need a healing. Somebody's child did not come home last night. Father God, we ask that the peace of God would flood their soul. Come into their household. We ask that you will bless our pastor. Bless him in his body. Bless him in his finances. Bless his home. Bless his wife. In Jesus' name we pray. Holy Spirit, this service is yours. Have your way in us, with us, and through us. Father God, we give you all the praises. You are our God. We belong to you, and you belong to us. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Let the church say amen. Yeah. 
Jesus, amen, amen. It is now time for us to continue in worship by way of giving. So let us give graciously with our tithes, our gifts, and our free will offering. Being reminded of what Solomon said in Proverbs chapter 3, beginning at verse 9, Solomon says, honor the Lord with thy substance and with the first fruit of all thy increase, that thy born will be filled with plenty and your presses with new wine. Let us pray. Eternal God, our Father in heaven, God, how we love you, how we praise you, how we glorify your holy name. God, we thank you on today for what has already transpired by way of song service. Father, we pray that you will bless this portion of our worship. Allow us to give graciously with a heart of gratitude. God, we pray that you will bless those that do not have it to give but desire to, that you will give them an opportunity to do so. God, we pray, we ask this, and all other blessings in Jesus' most precious name, amen. To be with us virtually, there are three ways that you're able to give. Our media team has posted them up on the screen.
Thou who made us, and the one who know all about us. In your divine presence we do come, humbling ourselves at our footstool of mercy. God, we thank you for this day. And oh God, thank you for having watched over us all night long. Protected us with your divine power, your eternal grace, and your loving kindness. And then, Lord, touching us this morning with your thing of love and allowing us to become a part of the day that you've made. Now, Lord, we really and truly don't know the entire purpose your heaven awakened us this morning because many went to sleep last night did not awaken today but oh God you know the reason why you have allowed us to continue on in your world. So God, in the name of your Son, whatever your reason is, let it be governed and guided by your Holy Spirit. God, our Father, we know that if you lead, guide, and direct us. We will not go astray. Oh God, if there was a time that we need you, so do need you not. Oh God, have mercy while mercy can be found. Ride in your power, in your grace, your mercy, and your eternal love. You know what things that are needed in your world. We, we read your word. But the apostle Paul said that my God shall supply all of our needs. Oh God, right today in your sovereign power. Oh, right now. Have mercy, my Lord. Oh, right now. Right in your power, Lord. In deliverance power, have thy own way, Lord. We know, we know, we know, we know. All things are possible with you. Have mercy right now. Oh, right now. Son of word today. You, the men of God, my Father, all over the land and country. Let them pray a word today. Oh, right now, in the name of Jesus, uh, right in your power, my Lord. Oh, right now, have mercy, my Lord. Oh, right now, have your own way. Touch. And deliver. Realize someone has received the word that there is no future. They 
lies are now cut off. But you have the last word. You're God all by yourself. Be your will, my Lord. Reverse that sin. Heal today. Deliver today. Save today. Have mercy right now. In the mighty name of Jesus, oh God, you finish with us. Down here on planet Earth, receive us into your eternal kingdom. For we will ever praise your holy and righteous name. The name of Jesus. I need
no. Thank you. Um, I don't know what time it was. All I know it was very early. When I uh, was awakened, and went into my study, and I heard the voice of Jesus. Come unto me, so I opened the word and this is what came to me from the word. Romans chapter 1 and I want to read starting from verse 15 Romans 1 so as much as in me is, I am ready to preach the gospel to you that are at Rome also. For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ. For it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believeth, to the Jew first, and also to the Greek. And uh, you may be seated. Um, I, j I jot it down, my message subject, but uh, I, I want to use what is given to me and I want to use for a subject today is salvational time is salvational time it's salvational time Listen to what the Apostle Paul said. He said, so much as in me is, I'm ready to preach. And listen to what he says. He says, the gospel, the gospel, and the gospel, the good news, 
of salvation. Amen. When you look at the gospel and the method, the method that the gospel should be conveyed. Paul says, preach it, proclaim it, because if it ever was a time that the gospel needs to be proclaimed, it is now. As was the inspiration that came to the Apostle Paul during his tenure on planet Earth, who at the very offset of his life was not an apostle. the very offset of his life was that of a persecutor. He was bitterly against salvation. And when we use the word salvation, I like what the Apostle Peter said as he described salvation. And what he said, the Apostle Peter, to the Sanhedrin Council as they questioned him as to what power was used that a lame man who was lame from birth is now leaping, praising God. And the Apostle Peter said to the Sanhedrin, you ask me what powers that we use on this once lame man. And Peter's response was, we use the power of salvation. For when we said to the lame man, look on us. And the lame man, in looking with great expectation to receive something, but instead of receiving something, he received someone. And that someone, Peter said, we call his name and said, in the name of Jesus, rise up and walk. And if you will allow me, try to 
float in my subject matter, what Peter was saying to the lame man is salvational time. In other words, you 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 need something greater than money. You need something greater than materialism. And that something is someone. And Peter said, I said to the lame man, in the name of Jesus, rise up and walk. And so what he was saying to the Sanhedrin, in so many words, it was salvational time for the lame man. And he came to the church to receive something. But he left after having received someone. And so Jesus being salvation Peter said, neither is there salvation in any other. There is no other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. But the clarification if you will, of salvation. First of all, it was announced by the angel Gabriel to Joseph as he dreamed. I hope you follow me. And the announcement that the angel made to Joseph was the birth of a son. A son. And uh, listen to the angel uh, as, he, as he said to Joseph and she shall bring forth a son. And I shall call his name Jesus, for he shall save his people from their sins. And so, born in Bethlehem, I hope you're following me, salvation was born in the person of the Son of God. And, and uh, when he came into the world, he came to implement the source of salvation. And the source of salvation took place, are you following me, on a hill called Calvary. And that salvation was spilled from the human body that which was spilled was the blood and the blood is earmarked 
as, re, as the redemptive plan. Yeah. 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 And so when we look at the, the, what took place on Calvary, putting it in my message subject, on Calvary, it was salvational time. In other words, man had an opportunity to be redeemed. Why redemption, Brother Preacher? Because man, because of Adam, the sentence of no more was placed upon him. What do you mean no more, Brother Preacher? Uh, no more life because of what Adam did. But I'm glad that before Adam was put out of the garden, God made a promise. And that promise was the promise of salvation, of saving, of bringing back, of restoring the life that Satan conjured away from Adam. And that restoration of life came with the loss of life. Are you walking with me? In other words, Jesus the source of salvation gave his life on that cross. And because he gave his life, he also gave man hope of life. Because I heard him say, walk, walk with me if you will, and as he was hanging on the cross, he said, and I, if I be lifted up, will draw all men unto me. They made the drastic mistake of doing what he requested that they would do. Lift him, lifting him up. And as he hung there on that cross, he start lifting, or rather he start saving men. And his first candidate of salvation was the thief on the right. He said to Jesus, uh, when you come into your kingdom, remember me. And Jesus said to him today, thy will be with me in paradise. Well, to fulfill the salvational plan, he had to die. To fulfill the salvational plan, he had to be buried. To fulfill the salvational plan, 
he had to be resurrected. And so, with that being said, that's really and truly what the, one of our texts said in verse 16, Romans. He said, I'm not ashamed of the gospel. In other words, I'm not ashamed of the salvational plan of mankind. And that plan was that he would die. That plan was that he would be buried. That plan was that he would be resurrected. And so, the character of our text today had refuted that, the plan of salvation. He had refuted that. He said it was not so. Until he met salvation on the road of Damascus. And uh, to identify and make known to the character of our text, Jesus knocked the Apostle Paul, who at that time was Saul of Tasha, off of his horse and lying on the ground, blind, blind, because of what had transpired in his life. Yeah, yeah. He heard a voice. Yeah, yeah. Welcome to the, hall. the same voice that he refuted and said that it was not so and said that uh, uh, those that are his followers are going around spreading a lie. A lie when I know that the report was that he died on that hill yeah, yeah. and that he was buried and the report is that his body was stolen. Yeah, yeah. That uh, it can be said that he's alive. And his resurrection is the power of God for mankind, hallelujah, to be saved. Yeah. And so Paul said, uh, I, I refuted that until I had a personal encounter. And I want to say to you as I preach the gospel of salvation that there must be a personal encounter by man before he is able to know that salvation is available and that he would be able to say to mankind everywhere is salvational time. Yeah, yeah. And so Paul on the ground cried out, who are you? And the voice that spoke to him was the voice of Jesus Christ the only source and means of salvation. And Jesus said that I am Jesus of Nazareth, whom you persecute. In other words, you, you are persecuting humanity, but not just common humanity. You're persecuting those that have been saved by the salvational plan. And so, they're being saved 
is because I'm the Savior. And so he said to Paul on the ground, I'm Jesus. And uh, I'm, I'm glad that the one that I'm preaching about not only had a conviction, but also had a conversion. You see, it's one thing to be convicted, but it's another thing to be converted. It's another thing to know that you know that you know that salvation is available and has been received. And so, on the ground, are you walking with me? He cried out, what will thou have me to do? And Jesus gave him the assignment. And so, his assignment he advocates it in our text today. He says, I'm not ashamed to preach the gospel. In other words, I'm ready now to let men know that salvation is available. And my informing them is to let them know that it's salvation time. It's really time for man to be saved. Once you hear that there is a source of means of salvation, it's time for man to be saved. And I am so glad as I hurry on to close. Amen to verify what I'm saying by way of a message. Amen. This same Paul was in a jail. This same Paul, hallelujah, was uh, incarcerated with his companion Silas. You find that in Acts chapter 16. Amen. And uh, they were incarcerated and placed into a jail cell. Hallelujah. And uh, barring my message subject, amen, when they pray and sing hymns, uh, amen, in the singing and praying, Paul was saying it's salvation time. And as they sang and prayed, you find that in Acts 16, the, the jail cells swung open. Amen. And uh, uh, upon the swing and open of the jail cells, amen, the jailer that uh, had imprisoned them saw the doors open and uh, he said uh, amen I know they uh, have fled from the jail and I know what the magistrates have said to me if I don't keep them in prison then I will also be killed so the jailer pulled out his knife and made an attempt to take his life. But oh, I'm so glad, amen, in that jail cell, one by the name of Paul, say, do thyself no harm, for we're all here. And in that sin, Paul was saying in so many words, is salvational time. Amen. The jailer, amen, cried out, what must I do to be saved? And Paul said to him, believe on the name of the Lord Jesus, and thou shalt be saved. Not only you, but your whole household. And uh, I'm going to go to my subject in my scripture and go to a close. Amen. Paul said, uh, 
in Romans chapter 1 verse 16 it's salvation time I'm gonna tell men everywhere that salvation is available for mankind I'm so glad not only do you have to hear salvation but you have to believe salvation and receive salvation and what is salvation brother preacher amen salvation is jesus uh, my rock in a river land uh, salvation is jesus my storm my uh, my stone here out the mountains uh, salvation is jesus my horse pawn in the valley salvation is jesus the one who died on friday very friday evening stayed in the grave all night friday Friday night, uh, Saturday, Saturday night, but early Sunday morning, he got up out the grave, uh, said, all power is in my hand. Uh, salvation is available uh, for mankind everywhere. If man is lost today, uh, I'm about to tell you, you don't have to go to hell, Lord. Uh, you can know that today uh, you hear the voice of Jesus. Uh, salvation is available. Uh, the Lord can say to you and I, uh, I'm the Savior, the one who came, uh, the one who died, uh, the one who rose uh, with all power in my hand. Uh, salvation is available. It's salvation time uh, in a war torn country uh, like we live in. Uh, salvation time uh, in a dry, in a way. Uh, away with life uh, that man is walking in uh, salvation time uh, in a way uh, when sickness is all over the land uh, salvation time uh, i'm so glad uh, jesus christ uh, my rock in the weary land uh, got all power in his hand uh, if you're sick uh, he's a healer salvation time uh, if you're lost uh, he's a savior salvation time uh, oh hallelujah if you're wrong uh, and want to get right uh, salvation time uh, he's able uh, anybody know that that he's able uh, anybody know uh, he will uh, anybody know uh, he's available I'm so glad, yeah, salvation of time. I hear the songwriter, and I'm closing. Say, I was sinking deep in sin, for from the peace for sure. Very deeply stained within, sinking to rise no more. But the master of the deep heard my despairing cry from the waters lifted me. I say, am I the lifted me?
so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have ever lasting life. God gave his son God gave his son when nothing else could help. God gave his son. Oh, God gave his son. God gave his son when. Jesus as your Savior and Lord. Is there one today? Is there one today who will say yes to the call of Christ in your life? Is there one today who will allow Jesus salvation to become your Savior and your Lord. If you have not accepted Jesus as Savior and Lord, today is salvational time. If you know that you know you know that if your life would be snuffed out now, that you don't know where you will stand in eternity. If you don't know, if you don't know Jesus, your eternal destination is downward. But oh, today, salvation time, you can accept him and in essence your life would be depicted as was the life of the beggar and the angels received him into the bosom of Abraham which is a typification of heaven and oh if you accept Jesus, the salvation of plan, you don't have to worry. You can join the Apostle Paul in his statement that he made 
to the church at Corinth, 2 Corinthians 5 and 1. And we know that if this earthly house of this tabernacle dissolve, have another building, a building of God eternal in heaven. It's salvational time. Hallelujah. You get to know him as your personal savior. And he's available for every man, woman, boy, or girl. God bless you today. I was to extend just to accept or to reject.